And our next speaker is uh, Professor Kim Jae-in, Jae-in Kim. He is the research professor of like the Center for um, Cross-Cultural uh, Studies in Gyeonghi University. And he is also our member. And um, actually he looks a little bit serious, but he's very funny and he always like, he likes to joke around with people. And then he, sometimes he called himself uh, the star of our center. Indeed, he, he is the star of our center. And he is the, one of the leading scholars of Blaise and Guattari in Korea. And uh, today his, uh, the pick, his uh, the presentation title is Genealogy of Genealogy, Nietzsche, Blaise, and Foucault. Um, Professor Kim? Yes. Are you ready? Yeah, okay. Yes, thank you for your uh, introduction. Uh, thank you for uh, everyone uh, uh, who speaks and uh, listens to this uh, conference. And uh, uh, thank you for the organizers and uh, uh, Ian, especially, uh, who uh, always uh, organizing the uh, very a precious uh, uh, international uh, Toulouse Guattari conference. Uh, today, uh, I will talk uh, uh, about uh, genealogy of genealogy. Uh, I will uh, uh, show you my uh, uh, paper uh, and I, I will read uh, the uh, paper uh, fast. Can you hear me? Everybody, can you hear me? 네, 잘 no, 들립니다. No, yes. no problem. Yes, uh, I, I can see your faces because uh, uh, I have trouble uh, uh, in uh, June, uh, but uh, I continue. Uh, it is widely and strongly believed that uh, Nietzsche created the genealogy, a philosophical concept and method in, on genealogy of morals. It is also well known that Toulouse made genealogy a focal concept of Nietzsche and uh, reformulated it in his ingenious monograph, uh, Nietzsche and Philosophy. In the wake of Toulouse, Foucault also tried to elaborate genealogy in his famous and influential essay, Nietzsche's Genealogy History. But it's very important. I would like to argue that Foucault misunderstands the concept, probably under the influence of Toulouse, and that Toulouse also made a great uh, mistake. Uh, in Nietzsche's On Genealogy of Morals, the term genealogy or genealogist appears only 11 times in total. All are mentioned in uh, a negative and critical context. I assume that Nietzsche wrote On Genealogy of Morals to refute genealogy of morality at the time. Genealogy is the opposite of Nietzsche's own uh, critical thought. The original German title, Zur Genealogie der Moral, may mean a retort to the genealogy of moral at that time. The subtitle, a polemic, may also be targeted against genealogy. Then, how? was genealogy transformed into Nietzsche's own concept. I first deal uh, with Foucault. It's better to start with Foucault. In the wake of Foucault, the concept of genealogy becomes popular among the intellectuals in France and Anglo-Saxon world. In G Nietzsche's genealogy history, Foucault makes two terms that is Bikulishe history and historical sense, the keywords of Nietzschean genealogy. 
he says that Nietzsche, I quote, conceives of genealogy as weekly history, or it's more frequent characterization as historical spirit or historical sense, end of quote. In this essay, Foucault conceives of genealogy, a kind of uh, history, weekly history, which he renders in German and translates into uh, effective history, uh, restore effective, and which he argues is contrary to the traditional history involving metaphysical perspective. However, Foucault's explanation is not right. In effect, Nietzsche criticized them. Nietzsche does not technically use the term virtually history, nor does he frequently use the term. It is even surprising that he uses the term only twice in total in his published work, once in On Genealogy of Morals and once in Beyond Good and Evil. This fact reveals that uh, Foucault's emphasis on weekly history seems so strange. Moreover, Foucault reverses the Nietzsche's original usage of historical sense. Foucault says that, I quote, the historical sense can evade metaphysics and become a privileged instrument of genealogy if it refuses the certainty of absolute, end of quote. But Nietzsche usually used the term historical sense in a very negative way. On most occasions, Nietzsche contrasts historical historical sense to a poetic creation or a form of contest, conquest, sorry, a form of conquest. Nietzsche even says, I quote, that which we men of the historical sense that is modern man uh, find hardest to, do, to grasp is just what is complete and wholly mortal in every art and culture. End of quote. In this respect, Foucault's conception of Vicky history, even based on a good historical sense, is not relevant to what Nietzsche really has in mind. I insist that Foucault is to historian to understand the true message of Nietzsche. In other words, he misunderstood he misunderstands the most valuable insight of Nietzsche concerning all kinds of interpretation, which I will recount. Foucault conceives of genealogy as a special kind of method to investigate and record history. After Foucault, almost all scholars think of Nietzsche's genealogy as a way of narrating or rewriting history. Foucault says that genealogy, I quote, rejects the metahistorical deployment of ideal significations and indefinite teleologies. It opposes itself to the search for origin, end of quote. Foucault distinguishes origin from both descent and emergence. He argues that searching for origin is directed to uh, uh, that which was already there and, I quote, it necessitates the removal of every mask to ultimately disclose an original identity, end of quote. But, genealogist listens to history and finds that, uh, uh, I quote, there is not a timeless and essential secret, but the secret that they have no essence, end of quote. In contrast, descent or emergence is more 
exact than origin. I quote in recording the true object of genealogy. End of quote. In short, descent or emergence is the proper object of Nietzsche's genealogy or Wirkliche history. But in Foucault, I find there are always and already remains the invariant origin of an event or the everlasting reference of a fact. It takes the form of a memory that is another kind of origin which should be represented in documentary. So Foucault makes genealogy a representation, a recollection of memory, a play for theater. I quote, the role of genealogy is to record its history. As they stand for the emergence of different interpretations, they must be made to appear as events in the theater of procedures, end of quote. Alas, what Foucault wants to do is, I quote, construct a counter memory, a transformation of history into a totally different form of time. End of quote. Foucault would like to make use of genealogy to make a counter memory to record another story, to represent another theater, to overcome the present. For Foucault, genealogy remains and will be an affair of past. What is different from the traditional history is the mode of recording or representing it. Uh, three, Deleuze uh, and uh, genealogy. Deleuze begins Nietzschean history by asserting that, I quote, Nietzsche's most general project is the introduction of concepts of sense and value into philosophy. End of quote. Deleuze then insists that a Nietzschean philosophy must always realize critic, a total critic. I quote, the philosophy of values is the only way to philosophize with a hammer. End of quote. Deleuze goes on uh, to outline the problem of value of values, the evaluation from which values derive the creation of values. Deleuze attempts to put concepts of evaluation, critic, formation, creation, and interpretation uh, side by side. Critique is, for Deleuze, one which consists in not just demonstrating the originary differential element of values, but in intervening and finally creating them. According to Deleuze, it is crucial that everything must be traced back to forces and that every phenomenon must be explained in terms of forces which take possession of it. Those forces are what will give us the sense of that phenomenon. I quote, we will never find the sense of something if we do not know the force which appropriate the thing, which exploits it, which takes possession of it, or is expressed in it, end of quote. All phenomena have a history, which, like, which is like to say that they have been appropriated by different forces at different times, so that all phenomena are always multiple. Deleuze asserts that Genealogy is fundamentally concerned with the origin and creation of values. I quote, 
genealogy signifies the differential element of values from which the value itself derives. End of quote. As we can see in this sentence, from the first page of Nietzschean philosophy on, the concept of genealogy opens the way to the whole picture and system of Nietzsche's philosophy. It is Barry Duluth who makes genealogy a key concept of Nietzsche. I cannot understand why Duluth makes such a great mistake. I just suppose that Duluth goes astray because of the impression of the title of on genealogy of morals and the charm of the neologism genealogy. I go on to Nietzsche. Genealogy is not a concept which Nietzsche invented. On the contrary, it is a concept which was used at the time, at Nietzsche's time, by some scholars and historians of morality. This explains that such few appearances of the concept uh, in on genealogy of morals and none in other texts of Nietzsche. Uh, this uh, is a very important point. Uh, I continue. <clears throat> I briefly sum up the Nietzsche statement on genealogy, of, sorry, <clears throat> on genealogy of morality or moral genealogies. In On Genealogy of Morals, Nietzsche has a strong negation to Dr. Paulle and other English moral genealogists who have an upside down and perverse species of genealogical hypothesis and see moral evaluation in an altruistic uh, mode. Nietzsche had strong contrary and antipodal feelings against the moral genealogist's interpretation of morality. According to Nietzsche, moral genealogists lack historical spirit and, and their thinking is unhistorical. As an example of their superstition, we can see that as soon as they begin to investigate the origin of the concept and judgment good, they link it to an egoistic actions and interpret it from a utili utili from, <coughs> sorry, from a utilitarian point of view. Uh, Professor Kim? Yes? Please, could you please scroll down the power, uh, PowerPoint? In order so that we can we could share with your like we, we yes. can uh, uh, the, at the same page with you. Yes, and uh, you can see. Can you see the page six? No, we can only see oh. your front page. Really? You didn't, you didn't scroll down. You didn't scroll down. Oh no no no! My God, I have a uh, problem uh, on Zoom. So, okay, I, I re uh, uh, share. How about? It doesn't show. Yes, I, I, I. sorry, I'm very sorry. Mm. Can you see the six, page six? Not yet. See? Not yet? Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can see. Now yes. we can. Okay. Sorry. Uh... Okay. I have a great problem. 
Yes. Uh, I think it's okay now. Yes, uh, I'll continue. Yeah, okay. Yes, uh, here I, I uh, begin. I briefly sum up the Nietzsche's statement on the genealogy of morality or moral genealogist. In On Genealogy of Morals, Nietzsche had strong negation to Dr. Paule and other English moral genealogists who have an upside down and perverse species of genealogical hypothesis and see moral evaluation in an altruistic mode. Nietzsche has strong contrary and antipodal feelings against the moral genealogist interpretation of morality. According to Nietzsche, moral genealogists lack historical spirit and their thinking is unhistorical. As an example of their superstition, we can see that as soon as they begin to investigate the origin of the concept and judgment good, they link it to an egoistic actions and interpret it from a utilitarian point of view. The genealogists of morals are worthless and naive. As we see, all mentions about genealogy and genealogists are negative, harsh, and pejorative. What is certain to me is that Deleuze is responsible for the dramatic transvaluation concerning the concept of genealogy. Because he is the first who redeems and resurrect Nietzsche out of Nazi's notorious mask and is very influential in interpreting Nietzsche's thought then and later. But it is not only Deleuze but also almost all scholars of Nietzsche who made mistakes in understanding the concept of genealogy. So let's forgive uh, Deleuze and continue to find the merit in thought of Nietzsche and Deleuze. Deleuze already criticizes genealogy. For example, uh, the reason is an anti genealogy, uh, said Deleuze uh, uh, Guattari in A Thousand Plato, and begins to research geology in the ge geology of moral Plato, of A uh, Thousand Plato with Guattari. I suggest uh, that genealogy should be, underst uh, uh, should be understood as interpretation as artistic creation. Although Deleuze wrongly makes genealogy into Nietzsche's proper concept, his explanation about genealogy fits the concept of interpretation. I will reconstruct the ingenious idea of Deleuze by replacing genealogy with uh, interpretation. Deleuze says about mask. What is mask? Mask is a face itself. In effect, face is mask, which became forgotten in the course of formation. So we must pierce mask and discover the relations of forces which form the mask. I quote, we see that the art of interpreting must also be an art of piercing masks, of discovering who masks itself and why, and what purpose to conserve a mask while remodeling it." End of quote. In this uh, citation, we should pay attention to the remarks that genealogy, that is interpretation, uh, does not appear at the beginning, and that the difference 
in the origin uh, does not appear from the origin. Here, the di discover is not an easy finding of difference in the origin because the difference do does not exist or appear at the origin. Rather, it comes later when the interpretation begins. So, genealogy of Duluth should be an art of interpreting. Interpretation for Nietzsche is creation of a new relation of forces by intervening and appropriating the past relation in a given phenomenon by an interpreter or an artist creator. That's the reason why Nietzsche says as follows, I quote, anything which exists once it has somehow come into being can be reinterpreted in the service of new intentions, repossessed, repeatedly modified to a new use by a power superior to it, or overpowering and mastering is a reinterpretation or manipulation in the course of which the previous meaning and aim must necessarily be obscured or completely effaced. End of quote. It is in this context that Nietzsche introduces the famous opposition between good and evil, good and bad. The point is that the same concept of good does not have the same meaning according to the different interpretation from the uh, different perspective. Here is disclosed the sense of the famous phrase of philosophies with hammer of Nietzsche. With hammer, we can fix or construct something as well as destruct one. Nietzsche says that, uh, I quote, we can destroy only as creators. Later, Nietzsche again says uh, the following in Thus Spoke Zarathustra, I quote, O oh man, in the stone there sleeps an image the image of my images. Alas, that it must sleep in the hardest, the ugliest stone. Now my hammer rages cruelly against its prison. Pieces of rock rain from the stone. What is that to me? End of quote. In the formula of uh, evaluation equals critic equals formation equals interpretation equals creation. In the formula, all concepts converges into uh, the activity of artists. That is why Duluth says the following, I quote, Nietzsche demands an aesthetics of creation, the aesthetics of Pygmalion. It is art which invents the lies that raise falsehood to this highest affirmative power. For the artist, appearance no longer means the negation of the real in this world, but this selection, this correction, this redoubling, this affirmation, end of quote. Uh, you know, uh, well know the uh, uh, myth of uh, Pygmalion. So in the aesthetics of Pygmalion, the lies and fabulations of the artist turns into reality. As artists, we can create our existences and the world. We should create a new ethics, new ways of living to live better. I conclude, past is the time which cannot be undone. Only time to come can be creative. Why should the truth of times come 
be more enduring than all historical and eternal truth. Because only these truths can be made from now on by us creators. What is the difference between the Lusian interpretation of genealogy and Foucauldian one? Even while Foucault wants to be escaped from the traditional historical sense, he continues to be a prisoner of history in the modern sense. Foucault wants to find a true and effective history in the name of genealogy. He wants to make a counter memory totally different from the present one. In contrast, Blaise transforms history into true interpretation, which Nietzsche conceived. Blaise overcome genealogy and rich interpretation. Interpretation is an activity of creating a new future out of the established past. Such kinds of activity are originated from artists. Past is untouchable and cannot be undone. But in the present, past stays as a material for the future, which we can form and transform. Past in the present, past as a present, is a present or a gift for the time to come. We can create the truth of the time to come. Only as artists, we can affirm past as materials for future. Our will can be liberated from the weight of untouchable past, as Nietzsche said. Thank you for your attention, uh, but uh, I'm sorry uh, for the uh, problems uh, during my uh, talk. Uh, uh, thank you very much.